My beloved brethren, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, our sustainer and our provider, Christ Jesus. We can indeed give God thanks for his leading and guidance over the summer thus far. While we are not without impact from the pandemic, we can all agree that God has been good and gracious to us. Thus far, uh, we have seen relatively few infections in our territories, and none of our members have been diagnosed with COVID-19. We say, to God be the glory. Additionally, we have been spared the worst of hurricanes and other natural disasters. As we move into September, new challenges will confront us. First, we have to deal with the reopening of our schools in the COVID climate. I'm happy to report that all of our schools have been making significant preparations and are just about ready for the reopening come September 7. Our students and teachers will be operating on the strange circumstances and I therefore invite your prayers on their behalf. I also request prayers on behalf of the education officials in the various governments around our territory as they deal with finding solutions to this significant challenge. There are serious concerns over the potential for students to spread COVID and I appeal to those of you who have children of school age to impress on your child or children the importance of observing the protocols. Just one week ago, August 28th, I was listening to an interview on the BBC World Service as I traveled to work. And an official from South Korea was asked why with all the progress our country had made, and the very effective measures they had in place. Why was the country now seeing significant increases in the spread of this COVID disease? Her answer was instructive. She responded by saying that like people all around the world, the people had become wary of the protocols and had started to relax from their use. Thus, a country that had made significant progress was now experiencing a second wave. My challenge to us is, do not become wary. Several of our Caribbean countries have gone back into lockdown. Trinidad, Jamaica, the BVI, and the USVI have all had to impose new measures in recent days. Let us act responsibly. The other significant thing about September is that it represents the peak of the hurricane season. You know that only too well. This season has been an extremely busy one thus far. I urge us to be vigilant. There are currently two systems east of us that we must monitor very closely. In the meantime, we continue to advance the cause of Christ and to grow his kingdom. The Montserrat Brethren uh, begin their virtual campaign uh, just this weekend. Let us lift them up in prayer. Currently, our young people across SLC are finishing their first ever virtual senior youth camp. We continue to pray that God will guide the youth of this territory. While all of our churches are now reopened, we are still operating under the COVID protocols. As such, our worship times are limited and our capacities are restricted. We continue, however, to provide regular services and ministries via our YouTube channel at SLC Adventist. We currently host children's Bible quiz on Sunday afternoons at 3 p.m., Sunday night services from 7 to 8.15 p.m., Monday night, this we believe, 
from 6.30 to 7.30. Midweek prayer meeting from 7 to 8. Sabbath divine services from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. And let's talk at 3 p.m. on Sabbath afternoons. Coming up later in September, in fact, on Sunday night, we will be hosting our Family Life Week from September 6 to 12. And later this month, our Health Week from September 20 to 26. I encourage us to be faithful. God is not through with us yet. We continue to press on by his grace, by his power. Let us be faithful. And may God bless you as we continue in his service.